AI mode is definitely the new hotness. And I want to walk you through something that I'm seeing. One of my coworkers, Sunny, she was like, is this just a circular thing where Google's just searching its own results and giving you the answers back? And I was like, that's an interesting way of thinking about it. Let me walk you through my test on AI mode with a query that I've been running for ages that has consistently been a failure. So I'm looking for a digital marketing agency focused on the intersection of PPC and SEO. When you turn that into a search for PPC agency and SEO agency, you get a bunch of people that are building out listicles that I've been talking about forever. So now you get Design Rush and Hawk SEM and like all these folks that are basically building out listicles. So I was like, this is not the answer that I wanted. I really want integration. So I'm like, all these companies are basically setting up listicles and listing out top agencies and listing themselves. I asked you to give me the top agencies. Now get me a list of top agencies that integrate PPC and SEO in a meaningful and real way, not this list of garbage. It is not interpreting well my statement of not this list of garbage. This is a list of garbage to me because you fell for their tricks on how to do listicles. So I'm like, I'm still not sold as Ignite Visibility and WebFX don't seem to be the kind of companies that are leading in this regard. This regard is PPC and SEO integration. So now I'm pressing like what specific content on their website showed that they use PPC and SEO together. It does a reevaluation, looks at some stuff, and it's like, look at these companies. Actually, that's decent because notice Directive showed up before in the listicle group, but Sear didn't, Brain Labs didn't, and Merkle didn't. Here's the takeaway. If you are being advised to build listicles on your B2B website that lists out you at number one and all of your competitors below you, then I would just consider that to be a strategy that works today, but could be risky in the future. So I would not make forward projections on that result sticking. The next thing I would do is I would look at how many people went to that page and eventually signed up as a lead form. I would track that. And then I would say how many of those people became actual paying customers. If you're thinking, all right, well, cool. I don't want to just build out these low quality listicles. If my agency is recommending them, what can I do? Well, one, I've got a video that I will link to where someone asked me that question and I gave them what I would do to avoid those listicles. The last thing that I would do is use this free template that we have already built. It connects to your Google Analytics and it'll basically show you your organic search. I would sort by organic search and then I'd look at organic social and see where do I have a really poor ratio between those? Because my interpretation of that is where you have high organic search and low social, it means tons of people are getting to this page, but when they get it, they really don't see it as good enough or worth sharing in other places like where humans are evaluating it. And then on the flip side, you can see where am I getting a ton of organic social and good organic search. And those are the ones that you say, oh, that's a good piece of content. Maybe what I should do is take those things that perform in both channels and double down on those. All right. Hope that's helpful. Peace.